Okay, it's time to finish our pointillism pumpkin painting. And if you look up here, I just wanted to show you really up close those blue and yellow dots, those red and yellow dots. And I want you to look just below this video and you're gonna see what this looks like far away. It really looks like an orange pumpkin with a green, pure green stem. So the eyes and the brain mix those colors automatically. And that's kind of the science between colors and pointillism. But today we're gonna to create a wash. A wash is uh, a thinned out paint that we can do in two colors or three or what, or one, whatever we feel like. And we wash around our painting because we want to keep our pointillism perfect. So the wash we're going to do with watercolors is going to go just on the background of our painting. Okay, so let's make sure we're careful we'd want to use, I believe, your flat brush, okay, and your watercolors. So here I have my palette that I used before. I have some water for sure, and I'm now gonna use watercolors, okay, because they make fabulous washes. So I am gonna use my flat brush, and I've already kind of charged up some of my colors, and I was trying to figure out what it is I was going to put around my pumpkin. And because it's most likely uh, fall when we're doing this project, I'm going to use some fall colors. So I'm going to use some browns and uh, perhaps, well, I'm just going to see where the browns take me actually. Um, so I want to just, yeah, this brown, I'm going to bring over. So I'm mixing up my brown, recharging that brown, and then I'm going to bring some to my palette. And I'm going to really water this down quite a bit. All right. So this is really got a very high viscosity. Remember that word? That's a crazy word. And so it really goes on like this. And I am just gonna work this very, very watered down brown around my pumpkin. And I like that. I think this is gonna really set off my pumpkin. So I think I'm gonna stick with the brown for sure. And then I think I might feather in well, let's ask ourselves, what would make this pumpkin pop? What color is the complementary color for my main color, which is gonna be orange? Ah, some of you know, it is blue. So I think I'm gonna do brown around my pumpkin, and then I'm going to feather in a little bit of blue with a wash, okay? And just so that that pops. And I'm just gonna work these two colors, I'm gonna do more brown than blue, around my painting, okay? And remember, we want to eat up that white paper, okay? Our goal is to really eat up all of that white paper with our color. And that will help our painting not only look finished, it will help us uh, look more professional, all right? So we want our colors to be somewhat professional when we're in second grade, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep that. Now, I want to also create somewhat of a shadow under my pumpkin. So I'm just going to take some deeper brown right up to that line at the bottom and kind of keep working in the two colors I chose for my background, okay? And I'm watering these down because I want them to look streaky, okay? Because this is kind of a wash. It's a technique and 
it's kind of like you see the streaks of your brush strokes as you're working these different colors together. Okay, so you're just gonna work them. Keep adding that water, keep mixing that paint. Da, da, da. And every once in a while I put a little blue in there because that's the complementary color to orange. And I think that will help a real, uh, create a real poppy background, you know what I mean? So I might just put a little blue in there and work it into my brown. Okay, I'm just gonna keep working. And again, I'm being really careful not to go into my pointillism, okay? I just want this wash in the background. So I'm just gonna work very carefully, especially in these detail parts. I'm going to be a little more careful so that I don't really work away my pointillism in my wash. Okay, so I'm going to continue to work around my picture uh, and finish out my pointillism painting with my wash. And I just wanted to bring it up close like this. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. It's just really watery. It just is gonna follow all the way around my pumpkin and you'll be able to look at the final uh, picture at the bottom or at the top. I'm not sure where this one will go. <laughs> so take care and have fun creating this amazing wash around your pointillism pumpkin.